How to make shadow frame effect on CapCut. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like so I actually know that this video has helped you out. But let's get started right away because it's super easy to do. So I over here have some footage. I just got up some stock footage over here. And before we actually get started, we need to do a couple of preparations. And the very first thing is by simply adding a black background on top of your layer. So I'm going to add this one over here. And the good thing about this one is, is that it isn't limited to only a couple of seconds. Like these, for example, this is only seven seconds. You cannot stretch it out longer. This is just a black solid, pretty much, which you can drag over how long you want. Then for the second preparation, we need to uh, copy this one all the way at the top. So I'm going to press Control C and then here Control V and then I want to put this one at the top. So now I'm going to go to the bottom layer. I'm going to um, hide the other two tracks. So now we can only see the bottom layer. What I'm going to do is go to Effects and here I want to search for Blur. Once you've searched for Blur, you just need to get a blur. Um, it does not really matter which one it is. You simply just have to put it on here and you can adjust this to your liking because this is going to be the background, of course. So I'm going to leave it on 25. And then what I'm going to do is enable the top layer. So now we can see that it is normal again. I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to do is adjust the scale. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. For example, like this. This should look fine. Then what I'm going to do is simply enable the black solid again. I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to go over here to mask. Now I want to mask a uh, horizontal or a rectangle actually. And I'm going to make this rectangle a little bit uh, bigger actually. Something like this, because this is going to be our shadow. So here we need to do one last thing pretty much. And that is just adjust the feather a bit. Maybe something like this. You can actually do some round corners as well. This might make the shadow look a tad bit better. But this is kind of just how the shadow will uh, look like. One last thing which you can do is go to your bottom layer then go to basic oh whoops and here to blend you can just put the opacity a bit down maybe something like this and then this is pretty much your um yeah your frame or shadow frame so yeah that is how to make shadow frame in CapCut pc